Lots of stuff going on. Bonnaroo, Father's Day weekend, Juneteenth, as we mentioned, mm -hmm. Nikki D. But thankfully, if you are going to be outside, right. it's going to be a little bit better Saturday and Sunday. So much better. And if you or your dad, Ben, mm -hmm. like yeah. to golf, yeah. Sunday's looking fabulous. Very if nice. you can find a tee time. That's yeah, true. that's the thing. It that is, is hard. So it is going to be hard. And, and crisp Sunday morning. Yes. I mean, nice. the guys at Bonnaroo, yeah. they're going to probably be a little <laughs> shocked in their tents because yeah. we're going to wake up in the widespread 50s. But you know that doesn't last, so enjoy it while it does. We are looking at this cold front that's going to be the culprit of that. That cold front is going to bring some scattered showers as well as thunderstorms with us over the next little bit. But here's the thing, it doesn't have a ton of moisture with it. It's got some, but it doesn't have a lot. The big difference will be how it sweeps out and cleans out a lot of this intense humidity and pushes it to the south. So we are going to be hot this weekend, but it will be a comfortable afternoon heat next week. I mean, it's like hold my sweet tea. We're talking about temperatures that we haven't seen in a decade. We will be up into the triple digits, not for one day, but for several days. So right now, 84 degrees doesn't seem so bad. We are starting out to a lovely dry start in the city. You make your way into Lebanon, you are still dry and you're heating on up on the roundabout as well as temperature wise. We're at 83. The Power 5 radars, we are picking up some showers. These are associated with the cold front. This is not the cold front though, but they are in front of it, and that's what we're seeing right now. Picking up not only some rain, but also thunderstorms right around to the Bowling Green area. That's going to move closer into Scottsville within the next little bit. And we've got this little bitty cell closer into Burksville. That's going to continue to slowly move its way closer into Salina over the next bit. But here's the main event. This thing is huge and so electric. These areas highlighted and circled about for you in the yellow. These are severe thunderstorm watches. We're not currently included in it. I will keep a very close eye. Wouldn't be surprised if we did see a little bit of that type of activity. But as this drifts its way southward, it's going to lose a lot of steam and a whole lot of punch. So we're not looking at a widespread impact. But we are when it comes to the lowering of the dew points, the drier air moving in. Right now we're still in the 70s, but there's relief coming. Dew points will be in the 40s and 50s Sunday morning, hence the big temperature swap from the cool to the hot by afternoon. Right now we're back in deja vu, we're upper 70s, low 80s. When it comes to heat advisories, a lot of us were done with it. And areas to our west, yeah, y'all still have a heat advisory, but that's a step down from the excessive heat warning that you've had for several days. The reason it's all about how high the numbers will feel. Yeah, we'll still feel like the triple digits, but we're not meeting that criteria for majority of us. So here's a look at exact track. Please remember this is not the gospel, but it's a good indication of the timing. Around nine o'clock, more widespread showers will move through. That will continue to drift its way southward. And then around lunchtime, that's going to continue to be down to our south. That's when we'll see more parts of the southern side of the plateau. Now, that doesn't mean we're completely done with the rain. We will have these outflow boundaries that could potentially spark some afternoon showers and storms. So severe threat is low, but wouldn't be surprised to have some strong storms with gusty winds. Highs today, 95, 88 tomorrow. Cool start on Father's Day, 89 by the afternoon. Dry heat Monday, 97 with triple digits to follow. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and stay with us. We'll be right back.